So it's 2023, and we're back to asking the same question. Epiphone is making these wicked guitars, but Gibson owns Epiphone, and bah. <laughs> Guitar Stuff with John! Welcome to Guitar Stuff with John. Good to have you back here, 2023. And uh, this is the uh, a review I'm waiting to do for a while. Uh, I recently uh, had a trip to Nashville where I spent time with my buddies at Gallagher, Yairi, Alvarez, L.R. Bags, um, Recording King. It was a great trip. I got to hang out with all the dudes from all the companies, and they're just great. It's they're fan, all fantastic people to work with, and they're so into guitars, man. They're so into guitars, and I just love that. Uh, so one of the places I got to go, which I had never been before, was the Gibson Garage. The boys at the garage are pretty happy <laughs> they are they are really into their jobs they're they're all mostly young guys and they they just love their job they they love building guitars they're proud of the gibson line they're proud of the epiphone line they're proud of everything they just like this is what we do we love this we love what you do come on in we got things to show you so I was able to, I had a fantastic meeting with those guys and uh, came away from the meeting with a, with a guitar. And I, it was a gift from them and I really appreciate it because it completes my collection of the Inspired by Gibson line that I've been screaming about for three years. Um, the... <sighs> I've always said, and, and, and it's, it's been funny, and, I've, and I said, I told them to their faces that, you know, some of these Epiphone guitars, this is, these inspired by Gibson models, are, are, in my opinion, beating out the Gibson guitars, in some, especially for price. Of course you can buy, spend 4000 on a on a, on a Gibson, and because, because, Gibson is 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 putting out tens of thousands of instruments. You have to ch pick and choose to find the right one for you. Maybe this one's a dud. Maybe this one's a little different. Maybe this one is whatever. It could take you a long time before you're ready to put out that money. But let me tell you something. The Epiphone Inspired by Gibson series is crazy good for the money that you pay for the guitar. And this last one is really interesting because it never was a Gibson. This was an Epiphone, always was an Epiphone, right? Uh, and, 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 and this falls in line with the Frontier and the Excellente, which were always Epiphones. And so they're, they're letting Epiphone go back to building these really good quality guitars that are above and beyond the normal Epiphone that you'd find for three or four hundred bucks in a music store. They built the Excellente, they built the Frontier, and now this last one is the Texan. This is the Epiphone Texan by Epiphone, designed by, Ep by Gibson, built in Indonesia like the other ones are. It's solid back and sides, mahogany. Mahogany neck, rosewood fingerboard, backwards rosewood bridge, wicked beautiful sunburst. And this guitar sounds just like an Epiphone Texan should sound. It's a, and, there, and it's, in my opinion, if you go back and listen to the old Texans, this guitar captures all that personality. Listen to how it sounds. It's vintage as hell. <laughs> Thank you. 
such a beautiful voice. Love it because it's so that it sounds it's dead sounding like the old guitar sounded it has that classic um like short attack that these guitars were famous for and that were were immortalized by paul mccartney playing yesterday on one of these things this is what he played it on was an epiphone texan as far as i know i can't remember i don't think it was an, it was a Gibson. It was an Epiphone Texan that he played, and this is the guitar that created that magic sound, right? So this guitar is flawlessly made. It's just flawless. And now I'm going to tell you something. Uh, full disclosure, I took the, I left this guitar. I had to get a pickup in it. So I gave this guitar to Roger Schmidt, who put, a, who put an SGI pickup in it, and it sounds incredible plugged in. And he, he did the Roger Schmidt magic on the guitar which was sort of, he, he, he reshaped the nut and saddle, made sure everything was good. But when I got the guitar from Gibson, it was really, really good. And Roger just tweaked it to my personal specifications. But when I got the guitar in Nashville, it was awesome. We played it a ton sitting around the Airbnb we were in. And it's, the fact is like if you can if you can take a guitar like this an indonesian guitar right built in a large factory and you take it to a pro luthier who knows your setup and they can actually make that setup work on the instrument this instrument's well made because it doesn't matter how good your luthier is or your tech guy is if the guitar is no good he's not going to be able to do anything with it but that this thing came out of Roger's place in 20 minutes with my precise setup on it. Hoy, and it's so lively. Like, it's so alive. I, like, I, the whole time I was talking, it's ringing, right? I just love that, that old buckety retro. This, this guitar is the perfect guitar for singer-songwriters, um, fingerstyle, delta blues. Like, it's just got that primo retro sound. And this is the company that invented it, right? So you're gonna, it, you, you can't really go wrong with that. You're, you're, you're playing an instrument that, that these people invented. This is the sound that this guitar has had for 70 years this is what they sounded like and uh, they nailed it they nailed this it doesn't it's better than the old ones in strange you know subjective ways but it still retains all that old midpoint and that that woof that's in the a string that's a classic epiphone texan sound and it's beautiful i love this thing it's just it, it completes my collection of these guitars and i'm so happy about it because it's uh i don't know but the, what they're doing right now is 
so cool because it's paying homage to the guitars that they were building 70, 60, 70 years ago. And they're bringing that, all that sound and technology into present day and presenting instruments for very little money. Like I said, this guitar only costs about 900 bucks US, 1200, 11, 1200 Canadian. You're, you're buying a piece of history and it's a great instrument for that money. If you can't afford a Gibson, or even, you know, if you can't afford an Exelante or a Frontier, because they're, they're going up in price. They're up around $1,800 now, Canadian. If you can't afford that, this is another classic Epiphone guitar, the Texan, right? So let's take a close look at this thing, and uh, you'll see how well it's built. It's just flawless. So let's, let's take a close look at it. So here we are at the headstock of the Inspired by Gibson Epiphone Texan. Now, the thing about this guitar is the Texan was never a Gibson. The Texan was always an Epiphone. This is the guitar that was played by Paul McCartney. Uh, John Lennon used Epiphones. Uh, you can tell that this is the Inspired by Gibson level of this because of this strange and beautiful satiny finish. Um, but it's got this, you know, the standard Epiphone headstock the nice per mother of pearl inlay there, the Epiphone truss cover plate. It has a uh, bone uh, nut. It has the Gibson style, Cluson style tuners here. And these are, I'm not sure what they are. They are, yeah, they're deluxe something or other. They <laughs> have the inspection made in Indonesia. This is how new this guitar is. Never took the stickers off it. Um, it has a very, it has a one and eleven sixteenths net neck width. It's a rosewood uh, fingerboard. Very nice deluxe frets. Nice wide frets. It's got the parallelogram, if that's what you call those. Uh, never was good at geometry. Uh, inlays. Very nice, and it is a mahogany neck as well. Very nicely done. This guitar is really well made. There's no question about that. Then we come up to the body and you see the standard Epiphone Texan rosette. There's the our sticker. Ooh, the sticker. Look at that. The FT79 Epiphone Texan. Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, the This thing is really cool. The standard Epi pick guard with that uh, chrome embossed E and then you've got this beautiful Sitka top with this classic dark uh, tobacco style uh, sunburst which I just love this body style. This guitar comes in natural as well but I prefer this color and then you have the, bat, the famous backwards bridge. Rosewood uh, bone saddle compensated Plastic pins, of course. And then we go on to the sides, which are solid mahogany. And back is solid mahogany. This, these guitars are solid. And for very little money, this, is, this guitar retails for about $1,200 Canadian. Uh, so eight or 900 US, something like that. And just flawlessly made. There's not one mistake on this guitar anywhere. The finish looks thin, even though I know it's a poly finish, but it's that nice satiny poly finish that's prevalent on these inspired by Gibson. It's not a high gloss finish, which, which you would see on a normal Epiphone. And there you go. There's the Epiphone Texan. And I love this thing. I've always been a big fan of this guitar. And this one uh, is special to me because it came right from the Gibson garage. They put it in my hand. So it's really nice to have this. It sort of completes my collection of these instruments. And uh, yeah, she's a beauty. For this kind of money, you, it's hard to beat. And I don't know, just it's a classic guitar. It sounds classic, looks classic. And uh, especially if you're a Beatles fan, you're going to know all about these things, man. They also make a American version, which is about three or 4,000 bucks Canadian. 
uh, which is handmade in the Montana shop. Also a stellar guitar. And yeah, so there you go. There it is. The Epiphone Texan. So there you go. There is the Epiphone Texan 2022. And uh, like I said, I love this guitar. It's it's so collectible, collectible for me because I have the Frontier. I have the Excellente. I have the... Uh, uh, the SJ200, the J45, the Hummingbird, all those guitars are in my collection, and they're just they're just amazing for the for the amount of money that they are charging for these instruments, and they're coming off the rack like they're handmade. It's it's that they're that nice. So and remember that these guitars that are in that price range, they're not the standard Epiphones that you would find for three or four hundred dollars with the with the you know the shiny, the shiny finish, the all these guitars can be recognized instantly by these satin finishes that they put on them. They're not really a gloss finish, and you can tell immediately. You look at it and go, "Oh, that's a that's the real deal there. That's the higher echelon of the Epiphone line." And because you can buy Texans, you know, with a gloss finish that are three or four hundred dollars, they're not going to be near the quality of this guitar. Good for beginners. And those sort of things. Or good for, you know, I say that, you know, but price of guitar doesn't really matter. It matters what you're going to use it for. So you might buy, I mean, I have three or $400 guitars in here that I use all the time in the studio. Because they sound cool. And they add a, they add a tone option in a recording that you might not get from a Canon guitar, Right. So you use it to add that extra little spice to something as a rhythm part or if maybe you're taking a lead on it or it's all about palette, about creating the sound palette in a recording. This guitar here, I would tour with this. It's set up the tour. It's got the SGI pickup in it. It's ready to go. It plays like a dream. And to me, to my ear, it just sounds beautiful and vintage. It's like being able to have an actual antique Epiphone Texan that's brand new. Ah, the, the decay of it, it reminds me so much of the Beatles. Because they used these guitars on their records way back in the 60s. And the way those guitars decayed, you know, you could tell what they were. They didn't decay like a Martin or, or even a Gibson. Those Epiphone, those old Epiphone guitars, man, they just had this personality. And this captures 100% of it. So there you go, boys and girls. So that's my Epiphone Texan. And I thank everybody at the Gibson Garage, uh, Mr. Ladner and the crew down there for putting this in my hand. They didn't have to do that. I didn't go in there for that. And they were like, you know, take this with you. We really love what you're doing for us. And so there you go. A big shout out to Epiphone. A big shout out to Gibson. I'm, I haven't reviewed any actual Gibsons yet on the channel, but I'm. they want me to, so I'm probably going to. If you have any ideas about what Gibson you'd like me to review, put it in the comments below, and, I'll, and they'll send it to me. They'll send it to me with a return label, and I'll ship it back when I'm done. Uh, so if you do want to see Gibsons on the channel, ask me. I'll, I'll see what I can do about getting them up here to Canada. Anyhow, there you go. If you haven't hit subscribe, do so. Hit the like button. Hit the notification button. Uh, hit subscribe. It's really important for us. And... It's free to you. It's not a dime out of your pocket or a moment of your time wasted. And uh, go into your local shop and do yourself a favor and find some of these guitars, whether it be the Texan or anything on the in the Inspired by Gibson line. You will really, really be impressed. Or any of these reissues, the Texan, the Frontier, the Excellente, they're great guitars, and it's... It's time. You you don't know how long this is going to go on before they quit doing it. And that's why I have str strived to get all these guitars in my collection. 
because I'm, I don't trust them to quit to at, at any moment. <laughs> so many companies do that. They build wicked guitars for two or three years, and they're like, ah, let's move on to something else. And then there you're, you're gone. And you're looking for them used, and sometimes the price goes way up. Go get one now, and then you have it. And go play one. Make sure it's, it's good. Make sure it's what you want. Uh, they're all different. You know, not everyone's perfect. Not any guitars all are perfect, except maybe Boucher's. But anyhow, the uh, <laughs> the Epiphone Texan reissue, about nine hundred dollars U.S. Somewhere's in there, twelve hundred Canadian. Uh, beautiful guitar. I I don't know what else to say. I love it. I'm gonna keep it, and we'll see you next time on Guitar Stuff with John. Guitar Stuff with John. Yeah. I actually am a better singer than that. Oh, just love that. Love the way that sounds. See you soon.